When it comes to the Animax Aqua Fusion lineup, there's actually two variants under it, the 120 AIO as well as the 240 AIO that supports both AMD and Intel platform. Today, we'll be checking out the Animax Aqua Fusion 240 AIO setup in a variety of tests and situations. Let's start with the fan profile right here. Now, the fan can support speeds from 500 to 2000 RPM and is one of the quieter fan that we have tested so far to date. And the pump right here has a speed of 3100 RPM, roughly 300 to 500 RPM more than the market average. The fan profile right here is rather unique. Once we reveal the other side, here we can see these blades built into the frame of the fan itself that goes onto the opposite direction of the fan spinning right here. This in return actually creates the airflow from a wider perspective straighten up, hitting onto the radiator directly on a specific spot, cooling it more consistently. Unlike conventional design where the airflow is usually wider, it hits random spot of the radiator inconsistently and cooling it inconsistently as well. Remember, heat does transfer from the hottest area to the coolest area. If you can make one particular area cooler, that heat will be transferred easily. So this one actually reflects well when it comes to our performance test and it can rival the Noctua setup which you can see in a later bit of the video. When it comes to the addressable RGB for this setup right here, looking at the fan, it's located on the frame right here. Now, it may not offer high illumination or glow like some fans in the market. Again, I prefer performance over colorfulness. The colors right here are well saturated even more when you have tinted tempered glass like the Thermotec A500 behind me. It accentuates the color even more. When it comes to the palm right here, it's beautiful, it's sexy as hell, it looks like it has that mirror finish and I'm loving it. Now this addressable RGB for both the palm and fan is 5 volt based. So you can actually use any motherboard brands in the market that supports the 5 volt pin on the motherboard right here. So you can play with the lighting effects when it comes to the addressable RGB. But let's say if your motherboard does not support the 5 volt, don't worry. NMX actually provided a separate controller right here that is powered by amps by SATA right here. That is 5 volt based, that has many lighting effects and lighting controls. You can check it out in a later bit of the video. On to performance, we will be using our Ryzen 2700X OC to 4GHz with Thermo Grizzly Cryonaut Thermo Paste. We will stress test the CPU using IDA64 but disable the graphic card to prevent unwanted heat. We will be also using hardware monitor to see the CPU temperature instead. We will test the AIO in two different ambient temperature, one at 25 degrees Celsius as well as 35 degrees Celsius. In two fan configuration, the stock fans by NMX versus the Noctua NF A12X25 fans. Do note I'm using Thermotec A500 full tower case fully decked out with Noctua fans so this is the best possible cooling advantage that I can provide for this setup right here. The fan curve is set at 100% when the CPU temperature hits 50 degrees Celsius, whereas the AIO is run at full 100% all the time. Looking at the ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius, both the stock fan and the Noctua fan setup managed to do 56 degrees Celsius. They perform equally, showing that the NMX fan design works and is not marketing gimmick. Looking at the ambient temperature of 35 degrees, the stock fan managed to do 61 degrees Celsius, whereas the Noctua fan managed to do 59 degrees Celsius. Only a two point difference and advantage right here. Still good for an extreme hot day since I live near a desert area with a lot of constructions near me. So the Adamax Aqua Fusion 240 AIO definitely can cool down my Ryzen 2700X overclock at 4 GHz easily with temperatures under 70 degrees. I'm very happy with it. In fact, to my surprise, with an ambient temperature of 25 degrees, the stock fan right here with a weird fan design can match and equal a Noctua fan setup if I put it onto the radiator. This shows that the design actually works and it's not some wonky marketing gimmick right here. And again, this is NMX mid-range. They actually have a higher range with slightly better performance called Leak Fusion that comes in the 240 and 360 setup, which I hope to test in the near future. But for now, when it comes to the noise level for the stock fans right here, both of them, we recorded an average the reading of 54 decibels whereas with a Noctua fan we managed to get at 45 decibels. Now again this is depending on your setup. My setup is based on the Thermotec A500 spec out with six fans Noctua so this is the quietest scenario to see the noise difference right here plus 54 decibels is nothing to shout about it's not loud enough it's just nice and it's just quiet even my bed is two meters away 
I wouldn't mind running the computer 24-7 in an aircon environment like this. So here's the final verdict. Would I recommend this AIO to you? The obviously yes, if you've been checking out my results earlier. I would actually recommend this AIO over the much more expensive NZXT 240 and 280 radiator setup. And in fact, their fans don't have RGB. At least this one has some RGB into it. And the fans actually do perform. If you're interested in the updated pricing and where to get them, links in the video description. Remember to comment below what other stuff you want me to review next from Animax or other brands. Just comment below, remember to like this video and share this video on social media so that will give us the necessary boost to get more expensive hardware for review to show you guys what are the possibilities in the market that can actually help with your PC build and setup. Till then, let me know in the comments if you like this lighting uh, setup and this table setup right here. Actually, I have a knee injury right here so that's why I'm using table setup if, if not I'll be standing up so I'm getting like an old man I feel like an old man I'm getting near 30 years old <gasps> and I'm single that's sad <laughs> I'll die a virgin <gasps> racing rainbow breathing rainbow flash rainbow overlaying rainbow Color Auto Run Ripple Auto Run Overlaying Red Overlaying Green Overlaying Blue